from Thorsmuk. We're on day two now. We had a nice little chill uh, this morning. We decided that, you know, the sun is coming up at 3 a.m. every day now and it's getting even earlier in the morning as we come into summer. So we had a chill. Uh, if we shoot in the morning then we'll have to, you know, have a sleep in the day probably. So we want to have a full day adventure today. It's going to be fun. We kind of have an unknown schedule. We're just going to go find cool valleys and fly the drone. Morning, Don. Good morning. How are you feeling this morning? Uh, feeling pretty good. Yeah? Pretty good. Uh, although yesterday I lost. Lost your baby. Lost the drone. The beard on this head, I tell you. This bloody thing goes every colour known to man. I have no idea why. And I've kept it a bit rugged on this trip. Forgot to clean him up. Just like a rugged mess. But, who cares? When you've got drainage, it's all that matters. Drones don't grow beards. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> location and a yeah. national reserve of Thorsmark. You should check it out. We always have sunshine here, basically. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sneaky little helicopter coming into land. We're now gonna head further into the valley and try find some colorful rivers to fly over. It's gonna be a fun day. Heading onwards to Balsa now, where the unknown is going to be known very soon. Yeah. One thing that's always uh, worth doing is scouting the rivers before you cross them. This is quite a long river, but I mean I know the car would be fine. It's just that it's definitely worth like checking the flow of the water and everything before you drive through. This area is full of rivers. Last summer I came here with my friend Anna and we climbed up of this crazy mountain and now it's covered in snow still but it was this one over in the back and it was a very very amazing journey. I'll try to post some photos from there I think just because it was so nuts. upon us and we just finished another little sneaky drone flight over some uh, cliffs that are coming off of the mountain. This landscape is very very jagged and wild and it's just like a real shock to the system to be out here. And last summer like it blew my mind like this one of the first places that I came actually when I moved here. So it's great to be back and it's gonna be an awesome summer of just coming out and hiking around here. I'm very very excited for it. Uh, 
<laughs> Mark 3 <III> made. <laughs> Sneaky volcano hut to merch. Don't mind if I do. It is now very late in the evening. We've had dinner and chilled a lot. And we're going to take one quick little mission into the valley before we go to bed. Pretty excited, but I have no idea if I'm even going to be able to take photos because it's real dark. Late night defender antics. With lads. Lad one, lad two. <laughs> so, we are at Stackholdsgel, which I was out a few weeks ago and it was like super foggy and really prehistoric. So, I'm hoping that some long exposures, maybe like even twerking it to 30 seconds, will get us some kind of daylight ish type of photos because it really is not getting dark anymore out here. It's literally like still blue in the sky. So I think it's just gonna keep getting lighter and lighter and lighter all the way through till the end of summer. Just the shockers though. Mm -hmm. Late night water crossings. Always sketchy bro. Always sketchy. So another day down in the highlands and I'm not sure whether I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. So chuck all this together from um, like a trip behind in these vlogs now starting to get the better of me with some random stuff coming up in the way like a London trip but I hope you enjoyed all the crazy drone action I realized today that I really really narrowly missed completely crashing my drone so let's not do that again but yeah I'll see you very soon for more Iceland adventures Peace.